going on guys? Fish Tank Monsters here and as you can see 220's looking pristine crystal clear water and in this video I'm going to show you how you too can have crystal clear water in your tank without carbon. Stay tuned. Okay so disconnected the FX6 filter and uh it's about to be cracked open and I'm going to show you guys a layout on the way how I set up my FX6 filter. doesn't necessarily mean you guys have to do it, I just had tremendous success with this method. So uh, without further ado, let's bust this thing open. You ready? Here we go. It's been probably four months since I've uh, serviced this filter and from the looks of it it looks uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape now the biomedia I use the stuff here is uh, from Seachem matrix it's extremely porous and I find it to be the best media on the planet it is unbeatable I love this stuff. Never have any ammonia spikes, no nitrite. I don't even, I have zero nitrate ever since I switched over to this, this matrix. It's awesome, awesome stuff. So, top layer is, it's called a, a zap pad and it's a coarse pad. I like to keep it on the top of my filter. There's three sections to this FX6 filter. So let's bust this out. Let's slip that to the side. Take the handles off. Now we get into the nitty gritty. So, towel one, full of bio, Seachem Matrix. Second layer. I use, again, coarse zap pad with a polishing pad. And as you can see, it's doing its job. Not too bad. Layer three, bottom layer. This is usually the, the, the spot where people put their chemical filtration in. This is all filled with this stuff right here. The very famous polyfill. Super cheap, so effective. This stuff polishes your water, makes your water look like air is in your tank. It doesn't even look like there's fish in there. This is what the polishing pad looks like. This is the coarse polishing pad and the polyfill very cheap I think I got this stuff for like six bucks on Amazon really good stuff so in it the only chemical filtration that I am currently running is Purigen now this stuff is pretty red you can regenerate it. I don't like regenerating Purigen only because the, the process, you gotta bleach it and I don't trust putting bleach in anything. I just throw this stuff away and buy new new stuff. This is the FX6 fine polishing pad that comes with the system. So we're gonna leave that there. It's completely fine. So what I like to do is I take my Purigen on the bottom basket, lay it in there as even as I can get it, right? We're gonna grab, as you can see, I am not shy when it comes to polyfill. So, I grab a handful, because this stuff is so cheap, I grab a lot. And I mean a lot of polyfill. 
right? So what you want to do is you want to take your polyfill and you want to pack that in this bottom tray as tight as you can get it. You want to push it around the purigen, forcing the water to go through the purigen. That's the key thing. If you don't do that, the water is going to circulate around it and it's defeating the whole purpose of the purigen. So, take that polyfill, like I said, and jam. And I mean jam it in there. Nice and tight. Second tray, I'm not going to bother putting the polishing pad on only because of the amount of um, filtration padding we're going to have on the top and again we're going to take on the top tray we are going to take this like so make sure it's stacked up nice and evenly take your polishing pad put that in first then your coarse pad and stuff it right on top of it just like so take your holding rods put them in the basket both sides service in this you drain it out through the bottom when you're gonna add water back to it make sure you have the drain off so when you're filling it back up water doesn't leak all over the place wife or girlfriend or significant other doesn't get mad at you and yell at you and get your stopper put it back on and these filters take about two gallons of water. So what I do is I use another product, the C-Chem regulator, and I get a two gallon jug. I'll show you how I mix that. Be right back. So this is a two gallon, actually two and a half gallon jug that I picked up from PetSmart. It was already, um, Good water I've used it a long time ago I kept the jug because I thought it was a good good little thing to have so this is gonna fill up my filter so this is the neutral regulator 7.0 it kills chlorine chlorine and if you have any ammonia this will neutralize the ammonia as well and it'll make your water 7.0 so I live by this stuff that's why I have like a three pound bucket full of it so one teaspoon is good for like 20 gallons. I always put in two. I don't know why. I just do it that way. And then you're just gonna wanna give this a second to dissolve. I'll just give it a quick shake, like making a drink, like a mixed drink. You know, the bartenders do it and they, they smile when they do it. She's a leaker. Okay, so that should be good. All right, let's go and uh, fill up the beast. We're gonna pour in our mixed solution. And like I said, you wanna make sure that drain is off. So we're just gonna fill this right up to the top. Also, by putting that neutral regulator in, if there was any chlorine in this water, it would have killed my beneficial bacteria. So that's why another reason why I do it that way. All right, now 
we just gotta do a half here. Okay guys, we've got the FX6 filter hooked back up to the system. We put a new coarse zap pad in it, we put a polishing pad in it, and we jammed the bottom chamber with polyfill surrounding that purigen. If you guys can stay away from carbon, any kind of activated carbon, I highly recommend it. If you're going to keep Oscars or Arowanas, they are prone to minerals in the water that the carbon actually pulls out. The carbon is so powerful that it will actually pull minerals from the water um, that can lead to lateral line disease. So I stay with the Purigen. Purigen does the same job. It kills the odors. It makes your water nice and clear right along with all your polish and stuff in your filters good biomedia good circulation and uh end result is you know crystal clear water so i hope this video helped you guys i hope you guys got some entertainment out of it i hope you guys learned something if you could please subscribe to my channel comment and um as always guys peace